good news for NASCAR video game fans, our long national nightmare with motorsport games is over. It's happening. Cue up the Michael Scott clip. God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! Because NASCAR and iRacing announced on Thursday that iRacing will be making the best in-class simulation-style NASCAR console game for the series going forward with a new game coming out in 2025. iRacing now has the exclusive NASCAR license. They bought that from Motorsport Games, which announced on Thursday as well that they had sold that license to iRacing so that Motorsport Games can focus on delivering quality future releases, which is a laughable statement considering the absolute blunder that has been their foray into the NASCAR video game space. Bad news for anybody that's looking forward to that IndyCar game. Motorsport Games still has the license to IndyCar, and they still say that game's going to come out in the spring of 2024. I'm absolutely taking the over on that. I don't think we'll ever actually see that game, and if we do, it likely will be a broken disaster like NASCAR Ignition 21 was. But Roger Penske and all the other geriatrics over at IndyCar don't seem to have an issue with that, so we'll leave that where it lies. The good news is NASCAR fans finally are going to get a quality console game for the first time in a while. Sure, NASCAR Heat 5 and NASCAR Heat 4 actually weren't that bad. Heat 5 is still an enjoyable console game to just pick up a controller and play a few races on. But what they really lacked was any sort of valuable video game over the last three years. Motorsport games absolutely tanked any ability to have a proper NASCAR console game. iRacing, meanwhile, continues to have the best online sim, just a fancier video game uh, on PC. Obviously, it's internet-based all the things, you know what iRacing is, and it's a fantastic product. It's great to drive. They will now have that on the console. Whether it's going to be a full-blown iRacing experience, more likely than not, it won't be. It's not going to be the full setup, uh, crazy realistic that iRacing is. It's more likely going to be a console game with pretty good customized setups and everything like that that you'll be able to, to tweak on because while everybody wants it to be like iRacing, it still has to be easy enough for the casual gamer to just pick up and play a race if they want to. What iRacing has done with the World of Outlaw video game is absolutely phenomenal. It's one of the best and most fun racing games you can play on a console right now. And if they make a NASCAR game like that, that has more customized setups, of course, and a few other features that I think everybody would like to see, that would be the best case scenario. The other good news is, in their release video, NASCAR and iRacing said that the game will include every driver and every track. Does that include trucks and Xfinity? Doesn't really specify that. But what's good is that it does involve every track. Obviously, with NASCAR Ignition, we didn't get every track. Uh, even the update to the NASCAR Heat 5 with the next-gen roster did not include every track either. But this will, because iRacing's already scanned all of these tracks, meaning we're going to get everything that's on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. We're going to get everything that's on the truck and Xfinity schedule. Hopefully those are included, uh, which is good news for everyone that just likes a variety of racetracks uh, to play on, right? So overall, this is fantastic news for anybody that enjoys NASCAR console video games, anybody that's wanted a quality console video games. It's a win-win for both sides. It's a win for gamers because we're going to get a game that is designed by actual competent people that know what they're doing. No offense to the Motorsport Games people, they, they are competent people, they did put out a video game, but they completely missed the mark on what they needed to do. And I think that the task was just more than they even thought it was going to be. So uh, pushing them to the side, we now get the iRacing Monster Games team, everybody over there. And it's it's good news for everyone that enjoys gaming. For NASCAR, it's also great news. They don't have to hear about everybody complain about how bad Motorsport Games is anymore uh, because they finally partnered up with somebody that can actually produce a quality video game and it allows them to reach a younger demographic. Everybody knows that gaming's super popular. Nobody's getting on Twitch right now to watch NASCAR Ignition 21, but if you're able to put together a console game that's much more accessible than what iRacing on a PC is, uh, that's good news. iRacing on a PC is a fantastic product. I play it sometimes, it's, it's great, right? But it does have a barrier of entry. You have to have a pretty decent PC to run it. You have to pay the monthly or yearly subscription. You got to pay $15 for a track, $12 for a car, whatever the prices are. Now I don't remember off the top of my head. It's a, it's a steep barrier of entry. Having a console game that costs $60, $70 that a kid can just pop in to their, pop in, 
showing my age here, that a kid can just download from the marketplace and just play immediately, that's a much lower barrier of entry for everybody. And it's going to get more people involved. That's what the, the NASCAR league should likely be based off of, assuming that this is a competent video game here. Uh, so it's a win-win for, for everybody. NASCAR gets to get back into the gaming space, which kind of, you know, um, petered out after NASCAR Heat 5 went away and NASCAR Ignition 21 obviously never took off. Uh, so there's been a huge wall there, and they'll finally get that. The NASCAR Coca-Cola series is, it's great as a series that it is, but again, there's not a ton of people that can relate unless you play iRacing, and not everybody has iRacing and the PC and everything that I've already gone through. Having a console game, again, is going to be a much easier, lower barrier barrier of entry for anybody that would like to get involved. So overall, really good news. Uh, we knew something was going to come, right? Uh, we heard a month, month and a half ago that that Motorsport Games was losing their exclusive NASCAR license, where it was going to go. Everybody pretty much speculated that it was going to go one of two places. EA and Codemasters are over here with iRacing and Monster. I think uh, iRacing, getting it is the best course of action. Codemasters does build great games. They're now obviously an EA company. Fantastic looking games. The new WRC game looks great. Obviously the F1 games continue to be really stout. But when it comes down to, to NASCAR, having the tracks already scanned, having all of that data already, iRacing already has all of that. They've scanned the cars already. They've scanned all the tracks. They, they can do all of that. It's already in-house. They already have a really good understanding of, of the balance model, the suspension, the setup, everything like that. So having them get it is, I think, the best solution for everyone involved. Let me know in the comments if you're happy about this. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.